Alrighty. I don't know why I clapped. Alrighty. Just gonna eat some pie and talk about Shakespeare. So this isn't it? pie. It's we what? made watery. It's cobbler well, it's cleverly. It's pie. Yeah, it's cobbler cleverly masquerading. No, pie. no, it's 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 an it's, it's, a, it's, it's an imitation it's, pie. It's a, to be we did a deconstructed. Pie okay. Anyway, chef. Okay. Let's introduce ourselves by saying our name, our favorite play, and our favorite emoji because we are relatable teenagers. You go first. My name is Sarah. I've been doing some. <laughs> I've been doing Shakespeare for eight years. Um. Oh, my favorite play might be A Midsummer Night's Dream just because I was like, it's sentimental to me. It's the first one I did, so like I have like, it's kind of, I'm biased towards it. And my favorite emoji is the cat that looks like it's kissing you. I'm Charlie. Uh, my favorite play is Much Ado About Nothing, and my favorite emoji is the sunflower and the little t star sparky thingies and the ghost. And I have three because I'm that relatable. Okay, go. Hi, folks. Um, <laughs> I'm Abby, and my favorite play is probably Henry V, and, um, my favorite emoji is either the old lady or the robot. Uh, hiya there, I'm Emma, uh, I've been doing Shakespeare for three, four? Oh, I've been doing Shakespeare for nine years. Eight yeah. years. Uh, I, some <laughs> ordinate amount of time. My favorite play is Cymbeline, and my favorite emoji is, um, I, I like the sword and then the cherry blossom. So, let's talk about Shakespeare. Good. Awesome. So, I love the, love the Billy what about it? What impact has Billy it had? Bard. What impact has it had on your life? It's given me a different access to language than most of the kids my age. I have yeah. really impressed English teachers. Yeah. yeah, my English teachers all love me. I just have to, like, slip it into the conversation. I'm like... Or when yeah. teachers try to quote Shakespeare at their kids, and then you know the next line, they're like... Oh, oh that's always fun. Yeah. Uh, I think as well, it's, like, a really nice community thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's how we all know each other. Or yeah. not these two. They, this is they're how siblings. they come across they're my birth. beautiful face. We live together. That, that one's my sister. Okay. My you can tell by their matching hair. Which is Which neither is funny of their natural hair color. We, we both buy it. Shh, don't tell the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, it's, been a, it's really nice. Like, I find that I'm happiest in rehearsal. Me too. I look forward to rehearsals, like... It's like, what would I do on my Saturdays? Like, I get depression when between plays because I, like, don't know what to do. I don't have a social life, so I just kind of... something to look forward to mm -hmm. among the mm -hmm. ordinary banality and mm -hmm. suffering and it, it's of a great, life. It's a great way to find people who are like you. Like, mm -hmm. usually people who like Shakespeare also are going to like other things you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it does, it helps so much in school as well because it, it, it gives you this access to language and a new way of understanding both how language works because it can be a slightly more challenging because it's early modern English, um, but also like the way characters and story works. Um, the, the, very, the Shakespeare is very complex, but also very simple. And so you, you learn these, um, in order to understand a play, you have to learn these certain uh, kind of tropes and facets of literature. And so you're kind of, you have a heads up. You're like, I know what the higher chain of being is. And you impress your history teacher. Also, it or makes me so mad when people are like, man, Shakespeare's boring. Especially when teachers do <laughs> it. Oh my god. That's because they, somebody, Don't understand somebody came mm -hmm. at them the first time they learned Shakespeare and they were like, Shakespeare is boring. And they were like, okay, Shakespeare's boring. And then they hated it. Because they only did Shakespeare in, like, but a really... Sh mm -hmm. Shakespeare was always intended for the common masses. Like, exactly. it was written for the normal man. It's just because the language is outdated, because language changes and grows mm -hmm. with time that people think it's difficult to understand. It's really not. It's mm -hmm. just like learning a new vernacular. Yeah. It's like if it's, someone it's from their time... If there, someone from their time was put into our time, they wouldn't know what any of our yeah. insanity means. But the thing is, it's the same I language. It's English. Language. It isn't Beowulf. All right, that should be enough footage. Okay, bye. Bye. bye nice meeting the internet. <laughs> I hope to meet you soon. Goodness gracious. God's bodkin.